New tonight, video showing flares and smoke over Gaza City as Israel pushes forward with a ground offensive it warns could last for weeks. We are now learning that at least one Israeli soldier has been killed in that offensive. The increased violence in the Middle East is causing anxiety to people in this area who are trying to bring Israelis and Palestinians together. Rebecca Cooper is live outside the Watergate in northwest Washington with their story. Rebecca. Gordon, these students arrived here as a whole part of a program that's conducted here every summer to try and bring Israeli and Palestinian students together. But it has become increasingly stressful for these students as they see what's happening back in Israel and the Gaza Strip, and they know that it's not just names and statistics, but it's friends and family that are being impacted. As Israeli tanks and troops push deeper into Gaza today, and peace seems all but impossible, this group of Palestinian and Israeli students are in Washington with their nerves frayed, worried about family and friends. 26-year-old Jerusalem resident Noah Schusterman served in the Israeli military and knows many being sent to the front line. Yesterday I was just on eggshells for the entire day um, and still because you, you never know when the phone is going to ring. Civilian Palestinians have been warned they will be caught in the crossfire. Already 274 Palestinians have been killed in the 10 days of fighting. Officials say at least one-fifth of the dead are children. 21-year-old Nasreen Zakut lives in Gaza. Her parents, her sister's family, and her younger brother are all there now. Each morning, she tries to call to make sure they're still alive. There's a lot of power outages, so sometimes you can't reach your family. And just very um, worrisome to me to know that any minute, any second, something could happen to my family. New Story Leadership is a Maryland-based international organization that brings Israeli and Palestinian students to Washington each summer with the idea that younger leaders can learn to bridge their differences. Now Noah and Nasrim have become friends and can feel each other's fears. So just making that enemy into a person who has needs and, and family and love, and that makes a whole different scenario. So you can see the stress in their eyes as we talk to them. They are so worried about their friends and family, but they're still trying to move forward with the whole idea of the New Story nonprofit, which is finding ways for the two sides to bridge their differences. Today, they were here at the Watergate meeting with a Children's Art Foundation. Tonight, they will be at the Kennedy Center as they try and push forward their message of peace. Reporting live at the Watergate, Rebecca Cooper, ABC7 News. Thank you, Rebecca.